Okay, look at me. I see you. And I know what's going through your head right now. It's payday weekend, the 15th, Friday, you know, all of it. And payday sometimes can feel like a blessing and a curse. Uh, you need payday. Uh, you can't wait for payday. Money ran out two paydays ago, right? And you have all these things that you have to take care of. Kids are going back to school and light bill, gas bill, car note, uh, rent, mortgage, all of that stuff. And you need payday. Then payday gets here and you're not sure if you need to laugh or cry because the money that you have available is not enough to cover all of the expenses that you have. So you either go into one of three things. You go into one of three things. You go into denial and you go out and just do whatever you want to do. You go into despair and uh, you just say, you know what, I feel sorry for myself. Oh my God, how did I get here? Or you go into depression where you really, really just are absent um, from your present self. Well, I'm going to tell you this. It is not too late to make another decision. It is not too late to change your mind. You see, it's still early enough in the day. It's still early enough in the weekend that all the things you were planning to do with money that you don't have, uh, you can say no. You can say no. And I know it is hard to say no. Why? Because you already spent the money. You already bought the ticket. You know, the, everybody's going to the event, the concert, whatever it is, and you already spent the money. I remember those days. I remember living check to Monday. I remember making those decisions. And because I had already spent the money, I figured, you know, I, I have to go because I already spent the money. But what I did not realize, or I kind of knew, but I didn't pay attention to it, that's called denial. Um, I don't just have the ticket that I am responsible for that I've already spent money on, but now I gotta go get my hair done, gotta go get my nails done, I gotta pay for a babysitter, I need a new pair of shoes because the ones that I was gonna wear don't go with this dress and so on and so forth or whatever it is. Then I gotta put gas in my car, I gotta get there, I gotta pay 10, 15, 20, 2,000 dollars to park. You all know parking is crazy. Or I have to carpool, whatever it is. There's a whole lot more that goes along with what you are planning to do that you know you don't have the money to do, but you don't want to back out. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to teach you one of the best lessons that you could ever learn in business, but it also applies to life. Cut your losses while you are ahead. Cut your losses while you are ahead. You don't have to keep going just because you started. You can say no. I remember once it was one of my very good friends, her birthday party. Now, I didn't have to spend any money uh, per se for the party. Um, but if I'm going, I, I want to buy a gift. Maybe you, my girl, you know, I'm broke. So I might come, but I might not have a gift. So she said, well, just come, just come. I said, no, I can't just come because first of all, I have to get in my car. I have to drive my car. That's going to take gas. When I get there, I have to valet park. And she said, oh, well, I'll make sure mm -mm, I needed to stay home. I needed to stay home so at least I could figure out how not to be in that position again. So it's payday weekend. It might feel like a blessing. It might feel like a curse. You might, you might not even care about your situation or what I'm talking about right now. But what I'm saying to you is you can cut your losses while you are ahead. You don't have to make the same decision that has kept you in the hole weekend after weekend, payday after payday, month after month and year after year. You can do something different. All right. And if you need some help, just go to asklyn.org. Join the 21 Days to Financial Freedom so you can figure out how to break not only the spending addiction, but the inability to say no. Susan Taylor once said, no is a complete sentence. When I got that, it changed my entire life forever. Now, go make that new decision.